Hi guys, it's Jo. So I'm finally getting this out to you guys as I promised. Um, in my pay it forward projects or uh, my birdcage projects, this is the birdcage that I had made and I said I was going to do just a mini tutorial on how I did, I created this rusted birdcage and this is what it looks like and the pro all the products that I used are from Lindy Stamp Gang and the link will be in the description box but you can see how it has that very nice shimmer to it and it has that copper tone um, like rust so this is the birdcage that I had created and I used the Tim Holtz Alterations Birdcage die and I cut it out of um, chipboard this is I really don't know um, I know this is not lightweight chipboard this is probably medium weight chipboard so this is the chipboard I used and the two colors that I'm going to be using is the moon shadow mist and this is the buccaneer buccaneer bay blue and this is the moon shadow ink pots that we carry now um, it's these wide jar wide mouth jars to make it easier for you guys to uh, use your paintbrush and it comes to you in a powder so all you have to do is add your water or you can use any type of medium that you would like um, and add it to your um, powder to get a different type of consistency or different type of look to your uh, moon, your ink pot. So let's get started. Just put this aside here. And you'll need also, I use um, a baby wipe to um, help me along with this project. So here is my spray tin and I just get the chipboard and I'm going to get my Buccaneer Bay Blue and I just shake it real good. Make sure you shake it good enough to where the um, the glitter, the glimmer on the bottom is mixed in with your product. product. So I just um, make sure I just saturate this chipboard here like so. Get it good and coated and then I'll get my heat gun and just um, dry that. want it to be a little bit more dark so I'm just going to spray it some more and dry it again you can see how vibrant that blue is I love it make sure it's pretty dry okay so I'll set that aside and this is what the birdcage looks like really pretty and this buccaneer bay blue all the moon shadow mists um, all have a walnut base and they um, the mica colors differ depending on what color you get and um, this is what the blue one looks like really pretty look at all that glimmer okay so in order to achieve this rusted effect I'm using uh, the incandescent copper and um, just to be careful just to make sure that you guys are careful because I've you can see it has um, some spill marks because I shook this jar and I did not tighten the um, lid very well and it totally splattered all over me so make sure you um, mix it and make sure um, that the lid is t closed tightly and just make sure all that um, glimmer on the bottom is mixed well okay and then you just open up your jar okay and I get my baby wipe here 
and I just get my um, paint brush let me just zoom in real quick okay so I get my paint brush and then I just um, dab it randomly on the bird cage like so and then I get my baby wipe and before it dries I just kinda um, dab it let me just add a little bit more Okay, and then stick it in my tin and then dry it. And this is what the bird cage looks like. So you see the copper only got certain parts of the um, bird cage, so it, it doesn't wash out the um, previous color that I initially put in. And that's how I get this rusted look on my um, bird cage. And I'm sure you could do this with any other um, die cut shape, but I just thought it worked perfect with the bird cage here. And there you go. So again, um, I the two products that I used were uh, Moon Shadow Mist and the uh, Moon Shadow Ink uh, Ink Pots, and this one is in the color Incandescent co Copper. Okay, so there you go. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.